Hi, this is Sandra from freedomsuccesscoaching.com and welcome to my video blog. Today I want to talk about freedom because that's really what it is that we're after. When we talk, when it comes to money, when it comes to wealth, when it comes to law of attraction, magic, manifestation, it all comes down to freedom. It's having the freedom to do what we want to do when we want to do it on our terms. And let's be honest about that. We're sick of being slaves, we're sick of having to do things that we don't really enjoy doing, that we don't want to do, all for the sake of financial security. So let's talk about freedom. Now a lot of people when they, they come to Law of Attraction, when they're using emotional freedom technique to help with Law of Attraction or using magic or anything for Law of Attraction, it's about getting things. And that's fine, things are fine, you know, getting a car's fine, cars are useful, nice things are, are fine. But when it comes to, to the money thing, it's generally not really about the money. So I know I talk about money, I tap on money, I am a tapping into wealth coach and money is central to my clients and it's, it's central to what I do. But at the end of the day, it's not about the money, it's about what money can give you, what money can bring you. And in all honesty, having enough money to satisfy our needs and then to have even more on top of that to have the lifestyle that we want to have to be able to do the things that we want to do and to have the ability to be able to spend our time doing what it is that we love doing is all about freedom. So when you're focusing on money just investigate what it is that you want the money for because it's generally not the money itself for most people, it's what the money can bring. Financial security brings freedom. Now, not everyone has the ability to be able to be super wealthy, to be able to accumulate enough wealth in assets to be able to sustain themselves without an income for, say, 10 years. It's not something everybody's interested in doing because to do that, you have to be really, really focused on bringing in the money, focused on wealth, on money. It's, it's something that people who are wealthy are really into and they really enjoy doing. But we don't all necessarily want to do the things that they want to do. So how do we get a sense of freedom when we know that we're not going to be doing the things that wealthy people do? And it all base boils down to having that trust in your ability to be able to manifest whatever it is that you want when you need it, to know that the universe is abundant and that there is resources at your beck and call as long as you know how to attract them. Because it really is about having the freedom to be able to do what you want to do when you want to do it. So for me, when I'm talking about money, talking about wealth, talking about prosperity with my clients, it's, it's not about pushing people into doing what they need to do in order to be wealthy or to do the things that wealthy people do. It's getting people into being able to manifest what they want when they need it, when they want it. It's like having a universal bank account. You don't necessarily have to have a big physical bank account. You just need to have a lot of trust in your ability to be able to manifest, to be able to be a magical person, to be able to have the things that you want to have when you want them and to be able to do the things that you want to do and to have the patience to allow those things to come to you in the time that it needs for them to come to you. It's about freedom. It's not about the money. It's about freedom. And how do you want to live your life? How do you want the security to come to you? How do you want to spend your time? Because how you want to spend your time determines how you, you view the wealth, how you accumulate your wealth or open up to attracting your wealth. Because as I said before, not everybody is going to have that wealth mentality of the people who are super wealthy, who will work the way that they work for the money that they get. So think about that. How are you going to attract your freedom to you? How do you want to attract your freedom to you? And forget about the money. Think about the freedom. Think about what you do with your time. 
how you're doing it, what you're spending your money on, what you're bringing into your life, what you're doing with your time. Focus on those things and then act as if you're already doing them and you already have them. And then you'll start to see the money that you may need for some of those things come to you or those things will come to you themselves. Because it's not always money that you need to buy things. Things can come to you in other ways other than through money. So I hope this blog makes sense. I'm just kind of speaking as it, as it comes to me as I'm inspired to speak because it's something that I know I discovered myself that it, to me the whole money thing was about freedom. So when I'm talking to people it's about the freedom and focusing on the freedom because that is what it is that you're really, really wanting. And maybe some of those money making methods that some people do to accumulate money isn't freedom to you. It's not something you want to spend your time doing a lot of. So you have to think of other ways that your freedom, you don't have to think of other ways your freedom will come to you. You just have to believe that you already are experiencing your freedom and your freedom will over time come to you. But don't be impatient, allow it to take its time. That's all for me, I'm Sandra from freedomsuccesscoaching.com and I'll see you on the next video.